So welcome back and a happy new year and a Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you had a good time over the last couple of weeks. Um, I would like to introduce you to the newest member of our little family. She arrived uh, on New Year's Eve. Uh, and uh, yeah. She was a Christmas present. She was a Christmas present for the whole family, but specific, especially for the two kids. So Francesca's just going to take her away and I will start to go through Ooh, the so engineering -y bits which I will uh, receive for Christmas, which I thought you might be interested in. First off, a couple of sets of gloves for the garden and for working on the track and all that sort of stuff. Then on to the better engineering -y bits. A couple of books first. Engineering activity book. All sorts of, I've already made a start. There's all sorts of different things in here which seem to be quite amusing so far on a good engineering basis. Uh, the Galloping Sausage and Other Train Curiosities. Had a quick flick through. Looks like it could be some interesting bits in here. I will let you know when I've had a look, a better look through. Um, Onto the workshop bits. First off, I received a box. Now, who can resist a box? This particular box contains parting off tools. So, holder for the parting tools, two blades, one two mil. I believe, and one three mil, which take the tips, five tips for each side. So they should hopefully keep me going for a little while. Uh, my father's always had, oh, as far as I can remember, has had the indexable parting tools. I do like the indexable tools anyway. I used to use the parting tools at work, but uh, I've only had the uh, high-speed steel parting tool at home uh, in a couple of different sizes, um, which one may still get used. I've got one quite fine one, about a sixteenth thick, I think. Um, whilst on the tools, we have this edge finder, which. Again, my dad gave to me, he's got one, he uses it, and he was quite impressed by it. Uh, see, it runs, it, apparently, I've not used it yet, it spins concentrically, and then when it touches the job, it flies off and runs out of true. Uh, the one dad has is steel, both sides. This one apparently is brass, so it doesn't get affected by magnetism. Not used it yet, can't say how good it is, but Dad was impressed enough to want to get it for me for Christmas. A uh, new set of uh, centre drills. Get through them every now and again. And last but not least, a mask, which will help when I'm grinding and possibly when I'm painting as well. So that is about it for the engineering tools I've got. So just before I go, um, I would say just before I go, it's going to be a little while yet. Uh, two things. One, I've remembered another present that I was given, which is workshop based. And secondly, I was asked to do a repair for somebody, um, a broken grate, um, which gives me a great opportunity to use my new face shield. But what I'm going to do with this, and I will show you, I'm going to grip it in the vise, grind off the weld that's across the top, I'm going to go right way across, and then put a nice new hot weld right the way across, along. And I will do that on all four welds, and just redo the whole thing. Um, because I think it has gone before, 
but we will strengthen that up somewhat. So, on to the other present first. Now it's not overly exciting and I'm sure many of you already have something similar anyway. It is a workmate. Uh, haven't finished putting it together yet, just taking it out of the box. Um, but yes, very useful bit of kit. And I had an extremely useful a, a job that was, would have been extremely useful for recently and I struggled and made a mess of the workshop. But that will be a godsend in the future for a number of reasons. But let's get back to the welding. So, like I said, good chance to use a mask. Let's see how we get on. It's got breathe holes in the bottom, so hopefully it shouldn't steam up. But we'll let you know how it goes. And there we go, it's probably not my best welding ever. Um, I was trying to get a lot of heat in there to try and penetrate into the bars. A weld prep wouldn't help because the welds, the joints were going the opposite way to the direction I was welding, trying to put a weld across a lot of plates. But it is what it is. The rods were a bit bigger diameter than I would normally have preferred, but I felt like it was worth trying to use my stainless rods so that's why i used those particular rods they're the only stainless rods i've got and they're a bit big for the job really they were four mil um or the eighth it might have been eighth um so yeah they wasn't ideal um so i'd rather use smaller rods same sort of heat but that's worked um being stainless it's still pinging flux off i don't like stainless as much for that kind of thing um but yeah hopefully they've penetrated quite well the, the original rods i think that it was welded with were probably mild steel across stainless great that might have contributed to the fact it broke um i did the first side and it seemed to make a big bow in it especially in one end but i flipped it over done the other side and it's straightened it out so it was just a heat distortion let's uh, take a look there you go you can hear the i hope you can hear the flux being thrown off so i'll leave that there to cool down and it can go back to its owner tomorrow hopefully so while you've been watching that welding going on, I've been finishing putting together the uh, workmate. So that is now ready to be used. One of the uses that I can think of for it is set the boards to five inch and then it's a nice little extra bit of worktop uh, for a loco, allowing me to get up underneath it as well. Um, or bolt in a longer board to put something on or there's all number of things that this will get used for over the time um but that's enough for now i have had a good christmas i hope you all have too uh wish you the very best for the new year i hope that uh some of what i've done has encouraged over the last year that is has encouraged you to have a go yourself uh given you ideas on things to do uh and i hope beyond hope that next year we'll do more of the same so uh yeah happy new year um i think the next thing that i might be showing you is a friend wants help setting up the timing on a sweet pea that the timing seems to have shifted it used to run better than it does uh so now it's wants a looking at to try and set the timing we will have a go at that um and i'll show you the results uh hopefully we can improve on it but for now thank you so much for watching as always um 
so 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 happy that uh over the last year that my number of subscribers has gone up tremendously in fact especially in the last two months uh that one video went just insane but uh i hope to bring you more of what you want let me know if there's stuff that you want more of want less of i will try and do my very best i've got a couple of ideas in the pipe ideas in the pipeline that people have asked for uh i just haven't got round to yet um yeah let's hope this year brings everything that you could possibly want so thanks for watching uh i've had enough now so time to go in and i will speak to you soon take care